Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to demonstrate conservation of energy using the loop-the-loop -loop and some bouncy balls. Um, I've got actually two bouncy balls. Um, I've got a golf ball and a racket ball also, which we don't normally use in the demonstration. Um, I'm just going to include it in the video so you can see how they react. Um, the small bouncy ball has a diameter of about 3.5 centimeters. Um, the golf ball has a diameter of about 4 centimeters. The smiley face has a diameter of about 4.5 centimeters. And the racket ball has a diameter of about 5.5 centimeters. So, on this track, I have a couple heights marked. Um, right here is going to be... Uh, about a third of the distance from the top of the loop to the top of the rail. So this is a third of the distance in height, this is half of the height, and this is two-thirds of the height. So we've got three different um, starting positions for the height for these different balls. So. We're going to start all of them on this mark, one third of the way up from the top of the loop. Um, first we'll start with the racket ball. The racket ball did not make it on the first mark, try it on the second mark. And the racket ball made it all the way through the loop on the second mark without slipping. Um, we'll go down to the smiley face and slipped off. We'll try the halfway mark and the again slipped off. Try the two thirds mark. Ooh, almost. So now we'll just put them on top. Made it all the way through without slipping. Um, now the golf ball. We'll start on the one third mark. Did not make it. We'll try the halfway mark. Um, it made it through the loop, but it slipped. So two thirds mark. two-thirds mark it made it all the way through without slipping. And finally the small bouncy ball which is normally what we use on the one-third mark. And we'll try the halfway mark. And the two-thirds mark. And there you have it.